Hello everyone, my name is Choco and welcome to Slitherio. It's a game which is kind of like Snake and I actually, as you can see here, I actually accomplished a little score thing of 7,901 and then I made a critical error of I didn't have my recording set up properly. It was very disappointing. Anyways, let's go ahead and play Solaria. I'm going to explain the game real quick for those of you for whatever reason may not know. Oh, we took out a Titan right off the bat. Oh, we took out a big one. Oh, you can call me Titan Slayer because I have slain one of your mighty. One of your chosen heroes was slain by me and I have come to usurp the throne. Oh, no. I'm surrounded by giant snakes. Uh I hope you guys aren't afraid of uh, wriggly things here. Although, if you think of this game as a series of gummy worms fighting each other, it becomes a lot more entertaining. Holy smokes! Look at all that orb! Oh, no! Okay, it's all right. Um, so, yeah, anyways, this game is very much like Snake. Um, you guys may know this game as more of like a... A classic oldie but a goodie game. Uh, this game has a couple of main differences, one of which is you can boost on the fly. Um, you can also take your snake here and go over yourself. So I can do things like this. I can make a figure eight. I can try to make a very, very elaborate plan where I can try to illustrate how you can play Hangman on here. But you can do a number of different things. And of course, you have different players all trying to make you crash into their tails. So like the actual like old game of Snake, you can if you crash into an, op or an opponent's tail, you will explode into a bunch of big orbs and that gives you mad points and you grow longer. If you eat some of these leftover little particles here, then you can also you eat those and grow longer. I think if you boost, you also leave behind a small trail of these little guys and you can use that to also get larger. So there are a number of main strategies here. Some people encircle and tangle them in a dark and evil trap. Some people turn into Roadrunner and they just start racing people to see whether or not they're man enough to, you know, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Holy cow! And this guy. You see, he was playing a mixture of chicken and dumb. You see, this is what we call the dumb chicken strategy, which does not go well... For the most part. For the most part, those things tend to end very poorly for people. Usually being dumb in this game is not very well rewarded. On the bottom right, you do see a mini-map here, which is, of course, very useful, unless you're me, in which case you kind of tend to forget that exists. And you, of course, have on the bottom left what your rank is, what your length is, which is determined by these orbs that you're eating. And then you also uh, can see kind of the different guys here of different colors and whatever else, and they all look very cool. Every now and then you'll see, like, a Reddit snake, or you'll see, like, a snake that looks like the American flag, and... This guy has made a critical error. He is not even large enough to be really worth our time. But that's okay, because this is a savage land of Darwinism. I will show you that I am meant to survive, unlike Louisa. Louisa is a measly maggot in these things. Oh, I am not afraid of you, FaZe. Guess what? Your aim doesn't help you here. Indeed, you are just in deep trouble, my friend. Deep, deep trouble. Because you're going to realize very quickly that I am a very sneaky, slithery servant of doom. Actually, let's go. Oh, you see. You see. There it goes again. Classic error. Classic mistakes being made all around. Make America great again. I'm afraid you are next to my target list. hi Oh, wait. No. He's, no, he's, he's kind of, he's playing careful. He knows. You see, this one knows the laws of the land. He knows what's going down. He's yelling timber. He knows what's happening. He knows what's right and what's good with the world until I get him. Ha <laughs> ha! Cut him off of the pass. Using your boost effectively makes the difference between life and death. Ain't that right, Slogman? Yeah, Slogman, I don't... Uh, what, what are you trying to do? He's trying to take a big one out! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You see, I am a... I am a legend. I am only capable of making the best decisions until I don't, which happens quite frequently. So let's not talk about the very likelihood that I'm going to somehow kill myself, but let's go ahead and just think of happier thoughts, like I'm going to rule the world of Slitherio. Although admittedly, the one thing that I thought was really different about this game versus Agario is that it's super duper hard, I think, to take out one of the big guys. In Agario, it was kind of a, if you get too big for your britches, eventually the spike balls come for you, and then you explode to a lot of little bits, and then it's a feeding frenzy of nonsense. But in this one, it's a very different kind of game. Also, the Flash is making me a little bit concerned by his presence. All right, let's go ahead and start the encirclement, shall we? Oh, crap. I just realized I made a horrible mistake. All right, we just need a... Aha! Oh, God! Okay. Okay. 
Oh. Oh, you. Oh, Voda. You are now just realizing. Oh, crap! Butt cheeks! No! Butt cheeks, why? Why, butt cheeks? I was in the midst of trying to get more food for myself, and now you've ruined that for me. I hope you're pleased. Die, Flash! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, you can call me Zoom. Now let me go ahead and go over here. Whoa! Fair. Skirting with- Oh god! Oh jeez! Oh, this is the problem with playing a full screen. You are always playing a very risky game here. Ah! Oh, that's right. You just are- you're understanding the predicament of the situation. And down it goes. I just realized I'm a very earthwormy looking snake. Perhaps I should just embrace my true roots as an earthworm. Dog, <laughs> you don't, I don't think you can describe what you are as a dog. I don't think so. Oh, oh, all this gloriousness. Oh, and I just, I took out another competitor in the wild grab for power. Oh, gosh. Oh, crap. How did we all die to the same snake? How is that even possible? All right, that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. It's all part of of the plan. You see, you have to you have to redistribute yourself. You have to make enough middle game. You know, you have to have a lot of medium fish in the pond and then you slowly have to eat your way up because I'm pretty sure that's how fish work. Now, you see this big guy right over here? Oh, wow. This is a bundle of I don't even understand what you are. What is going on with you? All right, Lul. Lul, you have luled your last Lul. Oh, never mind. Someone else has apparently made you lul your last Lul. Oh! Yeah. Oh, crap. Well, admittedly, admittedly, we didn't lose very much there. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't really come out as like, oh crap, we lost a lot of things. We just kind of went back to our natural state of being. Although we did get a very much more fashionable critter now. We look very dapper. Look at us, we're blue. And this guy, this guy looks like he knows what he's doing. All right, Bambino, you have Bambino your last. Oh crap! Okay. Aha. Well, we have taken out a relatively similarly sized adversary of ours, although not, can't really say that it was a, a good deal for him. Good deal for me. Terrible deal for him. All right, let's go over here and let's see. Well, holy smokes. You see, you always have to be on the lookout. The little guys inadvertently can turn into a large problem when you're boosting when you're large because you're just not looking around and you're a little bit unwieldy, admittedly. A little bit on the unwieldy side. Oh, and just like that. Oh, God! Oh, so many near collisions. Oh, crap! That's the other thing you have to look out for. If you try to make a really sudden turn, snakes are not designed to be aerodynamic and be like <laughs> frictionless creatures upon this horrible plane. They do, they do tend to have a little bit of a need to be forewarned of sudden turns, so I can't just be like, about face. Little, little snake man here, don't get it. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and make this our little... Oh, it's conquest time! Yes! Oh, it's double conquest! Oh, all the delicious nutrients! I will become the great snake king! Oh, God! Oh, wait! There's even more. Okay, I'm just going to play it safe. We're going to go ahead and just follow this wonderful, beautiful thing that has presented itself in front of us. We are opportunists, okay? We are opportunistic, we are greedy, we are everything that you have been taught is bad, but we need this because we need it to survive. This snake is growing at a very disturbing rate that is exactly <laughs> how much he's going at. Hmm! Oh, look at this guy. You see, he, he thought he had a plan going on. He thought he was going to accomplish something, but little did he know, I have snaked many snakes, and I know how to slither with the best of them. That's, a, that's an absolute atrocious lie. I have no idea what I'm doing 80% of the time. Let's be honest. All right. Um. Okay. Just got to be a little bit careful here. Oh, cactus! Hello, friend. All right. Let's see if we can entrap someone here. Let's see what we can accomplish. With the power of all that be, Heathers, you will be mine. This sounds very much like a proposal, but it's not. Oh, okay. There appears to have been a little bit of a collision of some sort here. And down goes a little red guy. The communists will never win. All right. Oh, over and through we go. And oh, no. 
Oh. Oh! Wait! No! Oh, the about face! Every time! Why? Why do I do the about face? Gosh darn it! Why do I never remember snakes are not agile enough? Why? It's just so heartbreaking. Oh gosh. All right, it's okay. All right, I think we're gonna make this. We okay? Focus, Choco. This play it like it's your last life. Truly play this as if you only live once. Even though, well, I guess for each individual snake, that's true, but. For, by and large, let's be honest, this is like some kind of Gaia thing where we all return to the Earth and all go into another orb, and then another orb is another snake's treasure, which turns into another inch of its slim, and then... It, oh, crap! The Mexican flag is trying to entrap us! Oh, we got him! Oh, Father Christmas. Oh, I will take your bounty. And I will love it. Much like bounty. The Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Reddit! We thank you for your patronage. Oh, you see, this is this was the difference. I just need to get my game, my game slithering on. You see, the whole problem was earlier. I wasn't taking this seriously. I was, I was giving everyone a chance. I was giving everyone a little bit of a, of a handicap, as it were, because I just felt bad for having been a slithering serpent for none in my life whatsoever. I have often thought of myself as very, very slithery, in terms of absolutely no aspect of my life. This is not helping my argument, but you know what? I'm trying to make sense of this all. I want to believe it's not just dumb luck, which it absolutely is. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I des you deserve the honest truth, and the honest truth is that I am actually very unqualified to be a snake. I've never been a snake in my entire life. I've never had snake experience. I've never been slithering anywhere. I I've crawled. Uh, so maybe that was a point in my life where I was almost serpentine. You know, just kind of crawling about, looking a little bit serpentish. I have hissed at people. I have done that. I've hissed at, you know, the meat aisle in your local grocery stores. Not your particular local grocery store, unless you live around near. In which case, then maybe I have. Oh, Peru. Oh, dear, dear Peru. You know that's not going to happen. We both know how this ends. This ends with you exploding on somebody else, and then this all just goes very, very south for you very quickly. All right. Oh, he knows. He knows what I was up to. He understands exactly what the game plan was. We can't entrap him. He's too clever. Oh, crap. Oh, I actually would have won that bout. All right, whatever. You can live. You can... Oh! Hello! Oh, daddy! Oh, daddy! Look at all... Oh, gosh! Look at all these orbs. Look at all these finities of life. Holy cow. All right. Ooh. You see? You see? This was all part of the master plan. All this is coming back now. I ain't no hollowback snake, but you know what I'm saying. I'm bringing Slither back. Oh, 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 look at these moves. Oh, you, you ain't never seen nobody Slither like me. All right, let's go. Let's, let's, what is it? Let's kick this bicycle stand? No, that can't be right. Let's, something, let's blow this popsicle stand. Is that what it is? I don't even remember what the expression is. There's something involving a stand, and you're supposed to knock it over or do something very violent to it. I don't remember what the actual expression is. But, oh, cosmic. Oh, cosmic. Oh, you devil! But you're a beautiful devil because you failed! You are a failure, as are you! Oh, peach snake! Oh, peachy. Oh, peachy, peachy, peachy. If only you knew the rule of the world, which is to feed me. All right, we are currently rank 20 of 510, and this is a lot higher than I have normally reached. We are we are obtaining new heights in our quest. All right, let's go ahead and loop around. Whoop. Actually, let's go ahead and chomp, chomp, chomp. Waste not, want not. The little ones are still a decent nutritional meal, or at least an afternoon snack. All right, let's go over here. You see... You see, this is all part of a great plan. That's my tale there. If anyone enters the corral, then consider themselves doomed. Because this tale will unwind, and then suddenly I'll be talking about a lot more real estate than originally expected. Although it does appear that my tail is still growing, which is a little bit concerning. Alright, let's go over here. And let's see, let's try to made by love. Aww. It's, it's parental digital snakes had bred in made of themselves a little baby one they loved. Aww. Unfortunately, it will die. Like Apollo's here. If he tries to do anything cheeky, 
Oh, look at Apollo's. The, look at those eyes, the eyes of a killer. He's thinking about it. Whoa, God, little one. Little one, much like the sea urchins that you are, I do not trust any of you. All right, let's go ahead and let's start corralling. We might catch something in our net. Maybe. Possibly. Although, admittedly, I'm getting a little bit concerned. Oh, yep, there we go. Something got caught in our little safety net a little bit ago. All right, let's go ahead and just do what I could. Woo! Very spooky. Now, I do know that if you hit F11, you go into full screen mode. The one thing that is kind of disorienting is that it does pop up your uh, little toolbar at the very top, and I don't know how to get rid of that. But that was the only way for me to do this in full screen that I knew how to do, because I'm a noob. But let's go ahead and go down here. Explore the depths of the universe. All right. Looking pretty good at the moment. And then another large snake has apparently decided to come right up near us. I don't know what level he is on the leaderboard, so I'm just going to leave him alone. Joe Baloney is looking to make some plays, but he fudged up! Yes, he did! And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to leave some of these goodness gracious particles here, and I'm just going to snorkel this guy. He doesn't know. He doesn't know that he actually just fell for a giant bait. Because there's no way out of this now. He doesn't know that yet. But soon it's going to dawn on him that this one end of me is slowly... Oh, I'm so stressed. You're going to be a lot more stressed soon, friend. Oh, believe me. You are going to be very, very stressed. Oh, he knows. He's already coiling up. He's coiling in fear. He knows. He knows what's coming. He knows how this ends. He's read through the spark notes. He knows that there is only one way out of this conundrum, which is to die. He is slowly going to become one with the other purple snake. Become one with me. Become one with me. Become one with the universe. And then, just like that, he was no more. Devoured by his greed. Alright, let's go ahead and loop back up. Grab some of this. Does look like Pogo decided to just go away. We are now! Oh, we were on the top ten for a little bit there. And then stupid William, William over here, decided to go ahead and go back on the leaderboard. Freaking William! Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, you see it. We can't, we can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy yet. We're not quite there. <laughs> Having been formally ranked number 10, there's a certain amount of prestige and fame that comes along with the territory. Alright, let's go ahead. Whoa, you see this guy. Commander Haas, he's had some thoughts, man. He's had some very devious, evil thoughts. None of which I approve of. But we have to play this carefully. We have to play this strategically. It is our last life. So I do want to play this very, very conservatively. This is a game of patience. A game that demands you be very aware of all the decisions that you make. And make sure that each movement is meaningful. Or at least looks really cool on the screen. Let's slither on up, see our tail, and finally we are one. No, <laughs> but we should we should probably seriously. Oh, wait! Ha ha! I think we just got some new customers. Wait! Oh, red snake! Oh, red snake! Mm. Dang it! We couldn't get him. Wait! Hold on. Is the dream still alive? The dream might still be alive, actually. Oh God! Oh, hero! No! He was too quick! He was a filthy, filthy quick one. But as is the way of the world, I have fallen. Well, if you guys enjoyed Slitherio, please think about leaving a like down below. So I know if you guys would like to see a little bit more of this. I know it's a little bit weird. I'm going to leave this particular one uncut in the future. I'll probably cut them up just to be kind of like the weirder moments. Because, I don't know, I, I, if, I, I guess you can also just let me know if you want it to be snipped or not snipped. I think these kind of games lend themselves more to being a little bit more snippy. But we'll see what you guys think. But leave those comments down below. Give me some feedback about what you think about it but hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did again leave that like subscribe to the channel if you're new and you're excited to see other stuff come out of here um, because you're going to start seeing a lot more stuff other than arc being played on here every now and then there is going to be a little bit more stuff in here but uh anyways i'm rambling now so i'm going to let you go about your days have a wonderful one everyone and bye bye